Today on the channel, we take a trip back to 1966 for Batman 66, The Joker, and Lord Deathman. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another Batman 66 unboxing and review and today we got a dangerous duo in the Joker and Lord Deathman but for all your Batman 66 needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free got to get a deal out there and Batman 66 line really winding down as we do know we've got a few things of course Batman 66 related. Now we're diving into a little bit of comic book Batman 66 as there is a comic book that kind of goes along with the story, continues the story some may say. And we're seeing a little twists and turns in this line as it does uh, reach its end or maybe getting closer to the end. I guess we'll put it at that. And Todd said he's all mum over there. It's not ending, he said. It's not ending! Okay, Todd, it's not ending. But a very fun line, a line that doesn't necessarily break the wallet, and a line that you can play a little of that long game. I know you hate it, Todd, but I do play the long game on these. Got to get a deal. And what I did is I actually, for these two here, I also got Superman and the Robot Batman. I got Batman, Robin, and the McFarlane Batmobile. They had a heck of a sale and then a 10% 10, 10 code Todd on your own website McFarland Toy Store during the holidays it was like a daily deal I picked all of them up way under retail and of course this month if you're watching the channel subscribe and you want to be a Patreon member I am giving away the Batman and the Robin like this and the Batmobile forum so enter over on Patreon you too can be a winner for that so stay tuned uh, if you're a Patreon member and link in the description down below as I always do say but of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I guess we'll start with Joker. Very familiar with the Joker, of course. And Joker in one of his zany outfits right here. Oh, looking zanier than ever. But I love that orange and blue. And I love that classic Batman logo. For me, as a very small little kid, Batman, not the animated series, Batman 66 with Adam West was on TV all the time in reruns. As a kid, I'd watch it after school, in the summers, things like that. And then as I went to my grandparents' house in the summertime, spring break, things like that, my uncle was a kid in the 70s. He had a lot of the Migos, and he had a lot of those figures too. So I played with a lot of that stuff. So Batman 66, always special to me. It's always really my first introduction to Batman. From there, I went to the Kenner Superpowers, the Super Friends, things like that. And then when I was like oh, 11, 10 years old, Batman the Animated Series came along doesn't hold as special a place in my heart as some of this older stuff does. So interesting where you come into fandoms on things and things like that. But the Joker here looking similar, but very different at the end of the day. On the back, the Joker looking interesting. We got some of that animated comic artwork over there. Batman logo at the top, jibber jabber down low. I don't think there's a blurb of any kind. There is not. Nothing going on back here. 2023 is when this came out. But let's get old Joker. The joke's on me if I can't get it out of the package. There we go. There we go. Getting it out. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, Joker went full cape on this one, too. See you later. Goodbye. Uh-oh. Twist ties McFarlane style. Wouldn't expect any less. There it is. There it is. Oh, my gosh. I lost the cape out the back. Oh, he put tape on the cape. Todd, we never go tape on the cape. But you do all the time, and I hate it. I hate it. It always rips off some fiber, some colors. You can always tell where that tape was. It's always a dangerous mission, a dangerous one. And then we got the key. Dare I say the key to my heart? I don't know. We'll see what happens there. But another see you later goodbye. But we do get a little key action here. I don't know what's up with this key. Uh, I guess it's the key to the city. What's it say? Yep, Gotham City. There you go. Very on brand here. He stole the key to the city. And a big comical key right here. Uh, very crazy here, but it is the key to Gotham City. So I guess I'm currently a member of the Gotham City Key Club. I can get anywhere I want to. Gold key, pretty much on brand right there. Now we do get a little cape action, and I do love the Super Friends, Super Powers, Old School Kenner cape action. Kind of that little connector around the neck. Very easy to use, definitely works on brand, looking very, very nice. 
Nice cape here, not super, super great quality. Uh, just a, a little step away from paper in a lot of ways, but very, very purple color, very on brand here for the Joker. And I gotta say, better than expected out of the package even. I like this more out of the packaging than I had it in the packaging. Looks very, very good. I love the kind of Batman, <laughs> the Batman uh, cowl he's got going on. And then he's got these yellow things that kind of hold down the ears on it. Looks, it makes it look kind of funny, almost like a flower is what it looks like. Big old smiling face there, white teeth, red lipstick, got the green eyebrows, a little bit of that Todd McFarlane side eye in here, but a very good Joker head that does look pretty good. Then you get down to the Joker, always dressed to the nines Joker, beautiful dresser right here. Green undershirt, got that big black kind of bolo tie going on, got the green undershirt poking through, a man of style and grace, of course. Gripping hand over here and a fist of fury. He's ready to throw down all the way down to the purple shoes on the Joker. So Joker looking very stylish right here. Now his arms do go all the way around. We do get a side to side single jointed elbow on him. Back and forth side to side on the hands. Of course head back and forth side to side. Cape removable as we did see there. No waist on him. Legs do go up and oh my gosh tight as tight could be. Bend at the knee, side to side at the knee as well. A little of that grease, a little of that plastic grease in those legs there. That's interesting. Greasy. What's all this grease, Todd? What are we doing here? And then you get a side to side there at the knee as well. But man, he's like leaking grease out of his knees. What's he storing in there? Did he pee his pants? Who knows what's going on with the Joker? And does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% on the Mattel stands. What do you know? Fits perfectly right there. Does the Joker. And of course... Can he hold this key, hopefully? Should be able to, right? No, why would he? <laughs> why would he be able to hold that key? He just comes with it. Why would he be able to hold it? There we go. You choke. He's got choke up on it like a baseball bat. There you go. So there it is. The Joker, way better than expected. I really like this. Of course, not the iconic Joker, but a good looking Joker at the end of the day. Now, one that really is interesting here is this Lord Deathman. Apparently a yoga expert. An expert at yoga like a young a young Diamond Dallas Page. That's what he is. He's doing DDPY back in the 60s, apparently. Uh, but Lord Deathman, a character I'd never heard of until this was officially released. Very cool striking character here, though. Looks very, very cool. And looks like he could be an army builder in different toy lines if you really wanted to. Just a very unique figure. And a figure I never saw at traditional retail, at least as of right now. But a very, very cool looking figure here, no doubt about it. Same style packaging that we got with the Joker. Looking very good right there. You got him on the back, little glamour shot. Little uh, artwork, I guess, off to the side as well. Batman logo at the top, UPC's jibber jabber down low. Uh, I don't think it says anything about old Lord Deathman. 12 and up on this one, though. He does come with a sword. He's ready to slice and dice if need be. But that's about it. But let's get old Lord Deathman. Oh, total rookie unboxing. Yeah, Kyle, act like you've been here before. Act like you've been here before. Oh, my goodness. See you later. Goodbye. What are we doing there? What are we doing? Plastic Prison, Lord Deathman looking pretty good here. Now, what do we got as far as clipped in? He's clipped in at the waist, of course, McFarlane style, as we know. We gotta, we gotta respect Todd's wishes from the couch. And then we do got the sword. I'm gonna pull that out. Pop him through here. We got tape on the cape. Of course we got tape on the cape. Should have expected that all along. And there we go. I'm gonna grab this leftover Joker tape. I'm gonna stick it there with that twist tie and bam! See you later. Goodbye. All right, Lord Deathman, ready to bring death, ready to bring pain upon us here. Very, very cool. Would look not out of place in a Halloween display, that's for sure. Big old samurai sword right here, black handle, gray blade, looking absolutely beautiful. I am here for this. Love how that looks, and he kind of looks like a guy that would have a sword, and I think it's the cape, and once again, we go full cape here. You know I'm here for it. Ever since Lando Calrissian stole my heart as a little kid with his cape wearing, uh, I've all been all in on this uh, Lord Deathman and his idea of wearing a cape. So the cape removable, just Kenner superpower style, just like the Joker. Keep it on, take it off, choose your own adventure. Same style of cape that we got with the Joker. Beautiful, beautiful skeleton head at the top here. Very scary with the black eyes, the black around the teeth. Looking very dangerous, looking very, very creepy here. And then, of course, he does got the, like an outfit on, which would be kind of comical to see in real life. But it's a very black jumpsuit throughout with like the linings of a skeleton there. So a little cheap, but I guess effective at the end of the day. Very effective. Blue belt going on, blue gloves here, which adds a little extra to it as well. A little dash of color. Articulation extremely tight on this one. Same articulation we saw with the Joker, but man, are these arms tight and uh, these uh, 
Shoulders very tight on him, but loose on the up and down, but all the way around, very tight, very difficult. Leg does go up, bend at the knee, a little smoother there, but we got a little of that grease in there as well. So Todd, your figure's getting all greasy. Getting all greasy is what they're doing. But man, I like this Lord Death Man. Uh, one of the best ones of the bunch, and crazily enough, the only character so far released that I never heard of, but man, I wish I did. Very, very cool looking figure here. I really like the looks of this one. And I do believe there's a platinum edition of this guy. I could be wrong. Never seen that in person, but I've heard about it. Uh, and I, I don't think it glows in the dark, but maybe it has a little different color combination to it. But it would be a cool one to pick up. There's no doubt about it. Not sure I'll ever come across that in the stores, though, unfortunately. It seems to be a little hard to get, even the regular version, let alone the Chase Platinum Edition. But, of course, he also fits on a stand very well right there. We're here for this. How about this? A gruesome twosome, two of Batman's worst enemies joining forces here at the table today. Absolutely love both these figures. And for what you get, I think these netted out to be like $11 with the Todd discount and the Todd bundle price. 11 bucks each for these. Man, sign me up all day long. I'll add these to my Batman 66 collection. No doubt about it. But what say you? You picking these two up? Long game? No game? Didn't even know game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day, including we got Superman and the Batman robot to unbox as well. So stay tuned for that one here. Uh, but make sure you check out the Patreon. Make sure you check out Pro Wrestling Tees. Best ways to support the channel, as you guys do know by now. You can also hit me up. Follow along over on social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Lord Death Man and the Joker 2, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.